Okay guys, back on the Blue Hornet AFR Mopar heads. This is actually the other head, so we first tested uh, cylinder number one. This is cylinder number eight. And it's had a first cut, so what I wound up doing was I radiused in the, f the throat cut and the, the next cut up. Uh, they are still relatively rough with the burr. Okay. Uh, the other remaining cuts are stock AFR. One thing that I do think hurt us, because it's kind of a huge failure for a first cut, is... Yeah, let's hit it from this angle. You can see the head gasket just covers this, okay? And take a look at the way they they did that. They did that with a real sharp angle. Okay, now over here I'm able to blend this out and take care of this. Over here, this is so tight, even though I made up a protector valve, uh, even with my smallest burr. Looks big, right? It's not. Give me a second, try to get it where it's got to go. Okay, it's a tiny burr. I think it's a quarter of an inch head. Even at that, you can see how far I could get in there. You can see the line. I was kind of hoping that I didn't have to do too much work there, but obviously I'm going to have to. How do we do as far as our daikin? Well, it's definitely a uh, better than it was the first time. We still got a lot on the right hand side. We got a little bit on the left hand side. We have a, a nice spread on the chamber. Not a lot of speckles. Let's see how we did on the bore. Not a whole lot on the bore. Looks like a lot of it went in the bowl. Okay, now down its throat. Kind of like the first one we did. You can see it's the dicum is downright chunky, it was all the way down at the bowl. You can see our straight wall, we're able to take most of that column out. If you want to make it dead straight, you're probably going to break through. Uh, this is quite thin, but I didn't make it so it's going to be a problem. The pinch got some work, but it's very similar to a magnum pinch. It is really tiny and we got some fast speeds on it okay you can see what I did on the short side it's not a radical reshaping because it's a first cut so what I do I blend my uh, throat uh, cuts and I get rid of the lumps and bumps and uh, machine marks because these were machined from AFR and we gave it a very smooth texture on the short side, then we move on. Okay, you can see on the exhaust, it's more than what I usually do for a first cut, because I kind of have an idea where it's going to go. With uh, the exhaust, let's see if we can get out. I may not have completely done this. Yeah, you can just see the 60. You can just see part of the 60. So I didn't finish radiusing this right to the seat like I like to do. Not a big deal. Is it worth a few CFM? Eh, maybe. These are quite tight in this area on both sides. And one, the inside ports are different than the outside ports. These have, more, these have much more area around the guide, which is probably one of the reasons they're going to flow better. You can still see I got some lumps and bumps, but overall it's fairly, uh, fairly smooth uh, polish on, on this exhaust. Like I said, I didn't really change it that much. Right, we changed the valve job, put a radius in, give it a little more area around the guide, take the lumps and bumps off, send it. That actually worked out pretty well when we look at the numbers. Okay, I'm running out of flashlights that actually work. Everything needs to get charged. Uh, you can get a decent look at the floor. Now, you know, 
the way the floor is, it's a half inch too low, so you kind of make it look pretty, and that's it. Because you don't want to, you don't want to give it any more area. It's already slow enough. Okay, you guys can see what I did with the short side. We leave it as high as we can. We make it so uh, air actually go around it best we can. And uh, and that's really it. Okay, guys, on the right, we got stock. We got first cut here. Had we do, well, I consider it pretty much a failure. Take a look. Minus, 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 plus, 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 tiny pluses, and it really doesn't top out any better. Now, there's a couple things that could be causing it. One is the short side speeds went up considerably, but they're not out of control. They're higher than these, definitely, right? Well, we're a touch lower on the cylinder wall side than this. The pinch is pretty fast, plus, minus, plus. It's not ridiculously fast, though, that that should cause a problem. I think it's uh, I think it's in the chamber, so we're gonna have to do some more work to the chamber. Overall, I got 300. We got a decent pickup, not great. At 400, we got a decent pickup, and then we're we're 260, 251, but we're maxed out pretty much. It literally didn't change. I went from 500 to 600, and it barely changed. I went maybe I missed the peak. I went back and went through it slowly. Nope. It's just 260, and you gain a little bit at 700, not a lot. Our swirl curve changed a lot. Remember, we got most of that pillar gone, right? It's not quite a perfectly straight port, but it's not bad. It's pretty good. So that's going to give us more flow on this side of the chamber. Unfortunately, this side of the chamber is super tight. Now, could I mess around and take some out of this part of the chamber and gain some CFM. I have no doubt. I took some out of the chamber here. Not a huge amount, but a little bit. Okay, and this is this has been reshaped in the chamber here. Alright, I do my my radius, we bring it out to the gasket a little bit here so we have a little more area here to get our exhaust out. Alright, we like our exhaust heading out. It's a little, coming from the center of the cylinder, so it's going to go this way. We want to make this entrance here work in that direction. So I think taking the pillar out and putting more flow on the cylinder wall side is part of the reason where we're held up as far as top end flow. I was really expecting more like 275, 280 out of these uh, first cut and that didn't happen. Okay, on the exhaust we did better, which is typical Charlie porting, right? I tend to I tend to lose some of my low lift flows after I port, and my exhaust picks up a lot more than my intake. That just happens to be the way it works until I can figure out what I need to do. Okay, this is our stocker, this is our first cut. Plus, minus, noise, noise, separation with a plus, 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 plus. We definitely top out a little better. At 600, we're 179.2, and over here, we're 190, 199.4. How'd we do with a pipe? This was a 2-inch pipe. We went 198 here, 224.2. Not bad for a small block port. Do we have to do any more work to this exhaust? Probably not, to be honest. We probably don't. We probably got a nasty street 340 completely covered with that. If you think I'm wrong, please mention that in the comments. Okay, we touched on the air speeds a little bit. This is the stocker, so we're going to compare our intake air speeds that were measured at 0.6. Intake air speeds plus minus plus. I definitely need to do some work to the pinch. It's a little bit faster than I'd like to see on the bench. How do we do with our, you can see what happened, right? We, we got rid of the pillar. So what happened to our airspeed on the cylinder wall side? Went up considerably, okay? Which is gonna give us more swirl and 
choked off this side, the side that air easily exits out of. Very, very important to understand what's going on. Not that I'm an expert, because I'm not. And our short side. Center of the cylinder on the short side went up considerably. Cylinder wall short side went down, which I wouldn't have expected, but it has a lot more area now than it had here. Because when you take the pillar out, you can make the short side wider right there. So that's why that is the way it is. Went up in the center. That's uh, not terrible, that short side. Notice top to bottom, right side to side, pretty darn even. Okay, our exhaust. These numbers are were, were the stock exhaust air speeds. These are the first cut air speeds, plus, plus, minus. Plus, minus, plus, very small minus. Plus, minus, very small minus, plus. We're definitely better these two parts of the floor, which is way too low. This part is the angled part of the floor. It's still terrible. How are we side to side? Are we any better? Not really. Whatever we had here, separation-wise, pretty much still have. We're faster here. We're about the same here. So we're a little more even here. A little bit lower in the center, which I'm surprised to see. So the exhaust taken at 600 lift, which is 199.4. I would expect the air speeds to be better than that at almost 200 CFM, but they're not. You got to remember, it's a compared to like a small block Chevy, it's a big port. In order to cover that whole port, I need to use a two inch pipe. So these numbers here, two inch pipe, just to have it covered, I need to mark that. Okay, you can see what I'm talking about, right? Can we probably get away with a little bit smaller pipe? We probably could, but when I'm I'm flowing it, this is usually on the back side of, of the, the bench. I can't see it unless I reverse the head, which is going to be a pain. At some point, uh, I'm going to flow the center ones as well. Uh, usually they flow better, so I uh, probably don't need to do any work to them anymore. probably just have to figure out what's up with the, the end ports and uh, do some work to the intakes and uh, this will be happening. Please mention uh, good 340 combos and what cams you guys were using. Um, he seems to be stuck on a flat tap at hydraulic, but see what kind of convincing you can do. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out. Have a good night.